uh, to sleep. Uh, um, now, so um, low magnesium, low calcium. There's something called sleep apnea. Okay. And it affects mostly people who are obese, who are very obese, actually. Mm. While they are sleeping, they will stop breathing. Mm. Yes. Why it causes, why it's more common in, in uh, very fat people is there is a fascia here between that divides the chest from the abdomen. It's called the diaphragm. Okay. When you breathe in, the, the diaphragm um, will expand. Okay. That's what helps the uh, chest cage to expand so that it can take in air. And then by the time it contracts again, that's what contracts the chest cage and then the air will come out. But in very fat people, the diaphragm has been stuffed up with a lot of fat. So it cannot expand like it should and it cannot um, 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 contract like it should much. Okay. okay, so it causes sleep apnea. You know, so, so somebody is sleeping and then in a moment of time for maybe like a half a minute, they stop breathing mm. and then they have to jack up and then they sleep back. You know, most times they are snoring or snoring heavily and then you, they stop breathing maybe like a, 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 a minute or two and then they start breathing again and all that. That can happen like f between 50 to 100 times in a six hours period of sleep. Mm. It disturbs sleep a lot. That's why some persons, especially abroad, they will hook them up to a, an oxygen tank. Yeah. Uh, so they sleep permanently with oxygen tank okay so now it's important to talk about the levels of sleep okay there are two levels of sleep there's the uh, REM sleep rapid eye movement sleep okay. and there's the non rapid eye movement sleep the uh, uh, the 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 REM sleep is um, uh, very vital that's the REM sleep so it it has five stages there's the light light followed by a deep sleep and then followed by light sleep and then deep sleep and then light sleep. Okay. Okay. So sleep can only be productive if you are able to get to those deep parts of sleep. Hmm. We don't sleep deeply all through the night. Why? There's, no, no sleep doesn't happen like that. Otherwise, the person will cross over to the other side. <laughs> okay. So we, you start out light. You get into deep sleep, and then you come back to a light sleep, and then deep sleep, and then by the time you have the fifth light sleep, you are uh, about to wake up. Now, it is during the deep parts of sleep that people, uh, you, uh, you dream or you do all those kinds mm. of things. Without getting to those deep parts of sleep, sleep cannot be refreshing. Okay. So the person may be closing their eyes, but everything happening around them, they know. That's not sleep. That's still part yeah. of inability yeah. to I sleep. I think it, it happens to a lot of us. Uh, you mm, know, sometimes uh, we, we sleep and you will they, hear they, what everybody exactly, saying. That's, but you are, within your mind, you feel, I'm exactly, sleeping. Exactly. But the person is, is uh, let's just say, half asleep. <laughs> okay. So, so, it, that it, so it, one has to be able to sleep has to be able to um, harness or navigate those deeper parts of it for it to be refreshing. Now, so having talked about that, um, how do you manage um, sleeplessness? Mm. Okay, how do you manage uh, uh, sleeplessness? Number one, avoid the things that snatch your sleep away from you. Mm. Avoid them. For instance, things uh, that uh, like we talked about consumption of alcohol and drugs yes. stay away from them mm. consumption of sweet things mm. stay away from them okay um and, and all that then eating heavily at night we talked about that in indigestion is a cause of uh, inability to sleep so that's why we should eat light at night that's why people suggest that uh, some that people should eat light at night if you eat too heavy and uh, remember we talked about the breathing. If you, for instance, if I eat very heavy, the diaphragm will be impeded. It will not be able to expand and contract mm. like it should, and then it will affect the sleep. Mm. So avoid heavy drinking or, or heavy eating at night. Avoid caffeine, alcohol, drugs. Avoid sweet things, and then particularly MSGs, okay. all these uh, chemical spices. Okay. They are not very good for the stability 
of the brain. And then there, there are some foods that different individuals react to. You will know it by yourself. You, every time you eat a particular food to sleep, they, you will not be able to sleep well. For instance, somebody told me that every time they eat a bar, they will mm. not be able to sleep well. Mm, that's swallow. Okay, so mm. not even swallow. That's okay. a bagari. Self gari. So mm. I said, well, stay away from it. Your body is rejecting it because your body will tell you the things that it is that are good with it and the things that are not good with it. Also, natural decongestants can also affect sleep. Uh, okay, so you can stay away from it. You know, this is, some people have gotten used to it. They always have. Uh, they call, we call it uh, Vicks or whatever. Vicks, yes, uh, they stick to uh, their always. nose, always. Oh. Those things, uh, it, con it contains pseudoephedrine, and pseudoephedrine is one of the chemicals that can uh, impede sleep. Mm. Okay, so, it, it, uh, so uh, staying away from it mm. is, um, is a good idea. All right, um, so now, so what should be done? What are the things that you should do in order to sleep well? Mm. Number one, Make your bed, reserve your bedroom strictly for sleeping. Mm. The idea is it's a psychological thing such that when you come into your bedroom, your mind is, begins to think sleep. Reserve your bed. So don't take walk to your bedroom. Don't mm. take play to mm. your bedroom. Mm. Don't watch TV in your bedroom. Don't press computer in your bedroom. Don't Just press your phone in your exactly. bedroom. Exactly. In fact, those things, if possible, Keep them very far from, put them up, keep them very far from your, put them in outside of the bedroom. The idea is when you come into the bedroom, you, you, your, your body is thinking sleep, mm. okay? Another thing to do is darken your, the bedroom. Mm. Let the bed, so they, let the, pull the curtains at night, pull the curtains. You, you, you know, that's why God created morning and night. Mm. From around 5, 6, when the sun starts setting, the body starts secreting an hormone called melatonin. Mm. And the idea of melatonin, the work of melatonin, is by the time it is 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, it has accumulated enough in the blood mm. to make you sleep. Melatonin is the hormone that makes us fall, fall mm. asleep. So the same way, if your bedroom is darkened, that effect is enhanced. But if there's too much bedroom in, in the, uh, too much light, light in the bedroom, um, the, the body will be deceived. It will stop secreting melatonin, and then the person will have issues mm. uh, with sleeping. Mm. Another thing to do with your bedroom is have what we call white noise in okay. your bedroom. Okay. Listen, Femi, mm. there's a noise in this room now. Yeah. What noise? The noise, um, AC and the lights. Yeah, the, 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 the AC light noise. Has, yeah, the AC okay. noise. And okay. Stuff. So the, I didn't know the light has noise. But it's very, um, you, yes, So mild. that AC noise, fridge noise, that, like a humming, low humming noise, mm, it's called white light. Mm. The research has shown that it has lullaby effect that makes us sleep. Mm. Okay? Uh, so uh, if you have an AC in your room or you have fridge in your room, small fridge in your room, make sure you don't stuff it with food. So you don't go and be stealing food in the middle of the <laughs> night. Okay, all those kinds of things. AC noise, fan noise, good fan. Mm. Not the fan that has spoiled. Mm. Okay, yeah, all those. So have that in your room. So we have talked about darkening your room. Very important. And then have, have um, uh, white noise in your room. Also, Please, I want to ask a question. Your, yes. Yeah, is it good to listen to like a soft music, mm. something slow, not too loud, not too bogus, something like an inspirational song that could make you sleep? Fantastic. Okay. Yes. Not loud noise, a, a, a music that uh, refreshes the soul, okay, or some messages that is calm that will just help you escort you into the land of sleep. Okay, th th those are very important. And then, um, don't, I wanted to say, make your bed comfortable. You know, uh, you know uh, I'm sure you, tra you travel a lot because uh, you go to different places to cover different events. There are some hotel beds that you, you rooms that you enter, you just want to sleep. The sleep that night is something else. Those beds are deliberately made and packaged. Big, white duvet, very soft bed, 
Needs. Uh, very needs. You just put your head there. It's tomorrow morning you'll find yourself. <laughs> Try and invest in your bedroom. Mm. It's very important. Invest in your bedroom. Try and replicate what they have in the hotels. There's a d reason they have in the hotel. They know you came to town. You're a busy person. You need your sleep. Okay, or you may you have been traveling, you need to sleep. So try and repl replicate that in your bedroom. Also, when you can't fall asleep at night, mm. don't just stay there and be moping. <laughs> Stand up and walk about in your mm. room. Mm. Because later I will talk about exercising at night. When you move your body, more blood air goes to your brain. And then whatever your brain needs to be doing by that time, you will be able to do it well. Mm. So don't just keep tossing on your bed, okay? Don't, don't do that. Mm. Try and move about, okay? Um, so we have said all those ones. Uh, uh, go to bed also at a very constant time, regular time. Let me call it regular time in the evening. For instance, if you go to bed by 8, no, no, maybe by 9 or 10, try and keep that constant. It's about psychological, uh, psychology. Once it is getting to seven, eight, your body begins to get into the sleep mode. You have condition, it's conditioning. Mm. Remember when we were doing biology in, uh, in uh, secondary, secondary school, school, they told us about the Pavlov exp uh, experiment mm. where uh, whenever he wanted to feed a dog, a, a scientist, I think it was a German scientist, he would ring a bell. Mm. and then the dog will start salivating yeah. and then it will feed the, bear, the dog. So after, some, after doing for a couple of weeks, the man dis decided he will not bring the food this time around, he will just ring the bell. The he found out that every time he rings the bell, the dog will start salivating, even without the food. Mm. It is called conditioning. Mm. Okay? So when you go to bed at a particular time and then you wake up at a particular time, you are training your body that a guy this time period is for sleeping, mm. okay? And I, 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 it, it, so by that way, you have what we call a, a regular circadian rhythm. It's just like yes. when children resume back to school, mm. a lot of parents tend to say, 8 p.m. is your sleeping hour. Yeah. So most children are used to that. Once it's 8, they, yeah. by Where quarter about to they 8, they start they'll, they'll just say, mm. good night, good night. Uh, Some yeah. will just, yeah. on the seat, they're yeah. already, so it, I think... It, Adults should do that for yourself. Now, listen to me. It is, you are damaging your health when you watch films late into the night. Hmm. Oh, yes. You are, as, 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 except you have to do it. Maybe you are present, preparing for a presentation or something. But just see there. Some people, 2 a.m., they are still trying to watch and their eyes are sleeping. After the time, they start doing like this just to be able to catch hmm. the, the, the whatever. Okay? So, and then exercise after your meal at night. Okay. Very important. Try and take a walk. Um, I've seen it work wonders in the life of our clients. You eat light at night, then maybe 7 p.m. You take a walk, maybe a prayer walk. You may be praying in tongues, doing all kinds of things. And then you come back, have a hot shower, mm. and then you go to bed. Mm. Even if, if you have a, a, a sink where that's a bathtub that mm. you can plug, you can even put some Epsom salt inside that water. Or you put chamomile oil, oh, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. and then you just stay there, have uh, sleep, um, um, have a good warm bath, and then you come back, and then you sleep. Hmm. Fantastic. Mm. All of these yes. are things that will mm. enable us to sleep well. Yes. yes. Even when your day, you went through a stressful day in mm. your place of work, mm. going home, just have that mindset that I'm going home to rest. Whatever it is that drop has to whatever do with, yeah. has happened. Yeah, it, anything that will stress you. Yeah, it's also a, it's a skill actually. Hmm. Some people don't know how to take whatever happened during the day, whatever they have been battling with. They don't know how to take it and just put it aside. Hmm. It, it's yeah. something we have to learn. That was what Jesus was trying to tell us. You you, you need to deliberately know how to enter into your rest. Hmm. If you could change it, you would have changed it. Yeah. The fact that you can't change it, don't let it damage your body. Hmm. 
get the sleep. And then by the time you wake up in the morning, your mind will be clearer, and then you will be able to think about it better. And then maybe by that time, you'll be able to download uh, some, some revelation or some answers for it. All right, yes. uh, Dr. Chris, we'll be coming back because yes. I still have other questions to mm. ask. At this point, so everyone who has been part of Health Living, Dr. Chris Williams has said a lot here on this program to help us in ability to sleep, the things we need to do away with, and the things we need to imbibe that culture, having to have that knowledge that, okay, at this time, I'm going to bed, and I need to take a nap. I need to sleep. I need to rest my body. So at this moment, from us here on Healthy Living, we're going on a short break, just a quick break. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Thank you. For inquiries and feedback on our channel, kindly call this number, 08029 08029657760 Or send us email feedback at dovevision.org. Thank you and God bless you. All right, welcome back. Still on Healthy Living on Dope Television, and we've been looking at the topic, inability to sleep. I have my guest here with us in the studio, Dr. Chris Williams, always with us on Dope Television. It's high time to pick up your phone and dial the number that will be displayed right there on your TV screen. Remember to tell us your name and where you are calling from. And sometimes due to network, you might be trying, and uh, the network seems funny or seems busy, Please, there's a number for SMS. Try as much as possible to send us an SMS. Indicate your name and ask any question. Dr. Chris is here. Ask any question bothering you. Or you have someone having this problem of inability to sleep. Please feel free to ask us a question. If you're calling, mute it. Reduce the volume on your TV set. Don't listen to your television while speaking to us. Or you want to listen to your voice at the same time. Please minimize it. Reduce it completely and speak to us. Dr. Chris Williams is here to answer your question. All right, we have our first uh, question. Someone said, uh, well done, Dr. Chris Williams and the presenter in Dove Television. My first question is, sometimes I sleep early, other times I don't. Mm. But when I sleep early, I tend to wake up in the middle of the night. And once I wake up in the middle of the night, I don't get to sleep till 5 a.m. And uh, you know, at 5 a.m., I have to prepare for office. Mm. What do I do? Well, so um, what you should do is, I do not know when you go to bed, mm. but if you can sh um, shift back a bit or forward a bit, you're going to bed till around 10 a.m. Uh, sorry, 10 p.m. I believe if you go to bed by 10 p.m., you'll be able to sustain a, a, night, a good night rest of sleep, okay? Uh, because um, so that you do your waking up maybe around four and then you prepare for your work. That's what to do. I believe also if you put into practice some of these things that we have said, um, recondition your bedroom, recondition your mind, you'll be able to sleep uh, better. That's okay. what to do about it. And then by the time we will talk about supplements, if there are little supplements here and there that can help you Mm. They, they, they are not additive. They Both. help to promote natural sleep. Okay, yes, thank you, sir. All right, we have Benga from Oyo State. Hello, Benga. Thank you for calling the program. Hello? Hello, Benga. All right, like, like I said, Ooh. hello? Hello, sir? Okay, I guess it's the network. So please, we'll, we'll like uh, Mr. Benga to please send us an SMS. Uh, please send us an SMS. I said uh, this is Benga once again, and um, due to the network, we'll definitely appreciate your message, and God bless you. I had my daughter three months back uh, due to, you know, the crying of the baby in the middle of the night. Now she's growing, but I find it difficult to go back to my sleeping yeah. mood. What do I do? Well, so, um, so in... Three months enough to have your body to have reconditioned. So what to do is you deliberately recondition your body back to what it was before. Okay, now that your baby has, has grown and they are less disturbing in the night. Mm. It's just about rearranging. 
try and rearrange yourself and then you also get used to it in about 21 days to mm. one month. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, God bless Sister Femi. God bless you too, uh, Dr. Williams. I'm a 68-year-old. I do nap in the afternoon, but I sleep between 11 p.m. and 12 p.m. and wake up six hours after. Is it okay? Very okay. Wow, great. Uh, I don't know who this person is, but it's very okay. Thank you so much, Ma. God bless you. Uh, all right, uh, this person is saying, well, I always have a stress, stress, I always have stress at work, but when I get home, I find it difficult to relax. What do I do? Yeah, it's well with you. So uh, you start from where we, we, we stopped. Mm. Try and master how to take the stress of the day. Mm. Uh, Jesus said, uh, sufficient unto the day is the evil, evil thereof. Yeah. Hmm. Just carry it and abandon it. Uh, maybe before you enter your house or before you be your bedroom and then take your mind off it. Mm. It's a training and you, will be, you can get to the point where you are able to do it. Okay, okay we're, coming back, we're coming we'll back. We'll talk to the about supplements. the supplements. All right, we have um, Precious from Mozambique. Uh, Pre Precious, hello. Hello, Precious. Can you speak up? Hello? I guess it's the network. Okay. Hello, Precious. All right. Uh, Precious, please do send us an SMS. We appreciate your SMS. You're calling from a far place. And um, please, we want to like, we would like to hear from you. Hello, Dr. Chris. Kindly educate the inability to sleep for pregnant mothers. Okay. So, for a pregnant mother, one of the things that would disturb your sleep a lot is if you try to sleep on your back because of the weight of the baby when you try to sleep on your back the it can compress it can press on the 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 big vein that uh, the big arteries the vessels that are taking blood back and through the heart mm. okay and then it can disrupt your sleep mm. okay so what to do is you sleep by the side very important so that the weight of the baby is just lying, lying on the bed somewhat that's what to do and then um, uh, 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 pregnancy uh, has some issues here, and they just try to manage it. And then mm. talk to your uh, guy if you have issues, yes. Okay. Uh, the next one is saying, hello, um, healthy living. Thank you so much, Dr. Chris. This message comes from Akwaibon. Please, what and what is better to consume a day as your meal? Morning, noon, and night. This person just wants you to give them remedy. Uh, what to eat in the morning, in so the afternoon. So usually I will suggest don't eat thrice a day. Try and eat two times a day. First, around 10 a.m., 11 a.m., between that time. And then the next one, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Okay? Eat something a bit heavy that morning. And then evening, something light. Okay, yeah. Precious. Thank you for calling back. Hello, Precious. Hello. Hello, Precious. Wow. I guess it's the network again. I don't know what is happening, but um, well, I'll just leave it that the network is quite busy this mm. very day. But please try as much as possible to send us an SMS. Hello, good There's morning. There's a number. Hello, Precious. Hello, good morning. Can you please speak up? Hello, good morning. Hello, Precious. Thank you for calling the program. Hello, Precious. Please go ahead Hello. with your question. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, we can Good hear morning. you. Yes, thank you for calling. Go ahead. Well. Okay, please. Maybe we should just allow Precious to go for now. All right, thank you. Uh, you said I have a regular time for going to bed. How yeah. do we manage this? And uh, when you know that most of us have prolonged night vigils. Also, could you describe what a healthy sleep pattern for senior pastors like us. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so um, what you should do, uh, and people are getting it better now. Even if they have to do a vigil, they don't do it all night. Most persons will do it maybe, some persons will do it maybe till they'll start early from around 8, they will do till 12 and then they will retire to sleep. You can, you can um, if you want to sleep, uh, uh, you want to pray at night a lot. You can, uh, you can do that. You can adopt that. Mm. And then after that, you go and sleep. Whether you're a senior pastor or a junior pastor or any kind of pastor, you need to sleep. 
sleep damages, uh, not sleeping damages the health. Hmm. Depression, diabetes, hypertension, or even cancer, all these things can follow uh, prolonged not sleeping. And then one needs to be very careful. Okay. Mm. My name is Daniel, Lagos. My wife always takes pain relief every night. Is it good or what can she do? That's Thanks. not good. That's not good. Rather, blend turmeric, ginger, and garlic, and then and drink it. Okay. It will even enhance your sleep. Mm. Yes, they will enhance the, the sleep. Okay. Maybe add some nutmeg to it. To it. You, you will just sleep like a baby. Mm, that's, yes. that's great. Mm. All right, uh, Precious. Hello. Do we still have Precious there waiting? All right, please, uh, maybe we should just take text messages for now, mm. all right, uh, because of the network, so that we don't keep people waiting. Hello, Precious. Are you still there? I don't think so. All right, thank you so much. God bless you, Precious. Please send us an SMS. Uh, well done, Doctor. Our husband has been having constant headache, hot uh, flashes, and inability to sleep for over a year now. Please, what's the cause? In came from Enugu. Well, so the issue there, see a doctor, uh, probably is what is having what we call andropause. You know, there's menopause and there's, there's andropause. Mm. Um, his testosterone is dropping so fast, and then he's, um, he's having issues with midlife um, um, uh, illnesses. Okay, so what to do? Follow all the guidelines that we have given about sleep about eating not eating too heavy okay and then take to exercising you were talking a lot about exercising mm. at the beginning of this program yeah. exercises does a lot of wonders to several aspects of health mm. okay and then you get yourself uh, even it even helps to increase the te testosterone mm. okay moderate exercises will help to increase your testosterone and then your your health will start balancing out. And um, doctor, mm -hmm. you see sometimes we notice that as children, when you play a lot mm -hmm. towards afternoon or in the morning or in the evening, well. I'm telling you. you they, they, that's why when they sleep, they knock out. I'm telling you. Throw one hand there. To, <laughs> to, if you okay. sleep near them, they will lie, or they will jump over <laughs> you, you know. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, please, let's look at the new trend okay, because so our time is fast Some of the herbs that can help, and these are herbs you can get uh, over the counter. There's a herb called lemon balm. Mm. Lemon balm is very good for sleeping. Okay, let me start with the ones that are even most common. Chamomile. All of us know chamomile. You can walk into any supermarket and get a tea bag, or a, 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 bag a, a container of chamomile. And then you just draw a tea bag at night and then you'll be able to sleep mm. like a baby. Also in that class is valerian root mm. and then nutmeg. I talked about nutmeg. Lavender. Lavender, it's, it's everywhere. Hmm. You can get lavender and it, it will also help you to sleep. Okay, we have Monday from Abuja. Yes. Hello, Monday. Hello. Hello, Monday. Thank you for calling the program. Hello. All right. Okay, maybe we should allow Monday to go. Probably the network again. Hello, healthy living. Um, my 82-year-old mom finds it difficult to sleep, and she's also su suffering from dementia. Yeah. Is there any solution? Oh, yeah, plenty. Okay. Plenty. Okay, okay. so these uh, herbs that we're talking about, mommy should be, mama should be placed on it. Passion flower, St. John's wort. Mama most probably would need St. John's wort because um, since she's having dementia, I'm thinking she's dealing with Alzheimer's disease. Mm. If this uh, person doesn't mind, you can re reach me and okay. then we'll talk more about specifically okay. about what you should do for mama. Okay, yes. and also Dr. Chris Williams' number will be scrolled at mm. the end of the program. Yes. Please get to WhatsApp, send him a WhatsApp and say, Doctor, I watch your program today on mm. Healthy Living yes. on Job Television. Please, I would like to speak with you. It's very important. I sent a message of a two-year-old mother finding it difficult to sleep. Mm. Thank you so much and God bless you. Hello, Doctor. I'm, I'm having a 10-year-old boy. During mm. the day, he will never sleep. Mm, mm. What could be the cause? Mm. Well, that don't bother about that. There are some people who just find sleeping in the afternoon very, very, almost impossible. So, so long as he sleeps well at night, it's okay. That's his, that's his own pattern. Okay. Uh, hello, doctor. My name is Bamidele from Akura. Please, I want to ask, sir, I hardly eat without watching a movie. And if I want to eat, I find it not really easy to eat without watching 
movie. Please, how can I stop this? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you need to pray about oh it. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, but just make sure you eat, okay? okay. And then it's, all these things are conditioning. If, if you try and do it for like two months, you get used to eating without watching it. All right. Yes, Thank sir. you, doctor. Yeah. Favor from Delta State. Hello, Favor. Thank you for calling the program. Hello? Hello? Do we still have our caller there? All right. Oh, God bless all our network in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, doctor, thank you so much for this. Okay, well done, doctor and the presenter there. Please, how can you help yourself to sleep while having a headache? I normally find Whoa. it difficult to sleep. Benita from Abuja. If you are dealing with headache, you want to make sure you have seen a doctor. They have checked your, your blood pressure that it is not high. Mm. And then if, it is con if the headache is continuous, it may be tension headache, it may be from depression, it may also be migraine. So mm. the doctor needs to be able to place their hands on it. Okay, because it's difficult to, we talked about aches and pain, pain. being one of the causes of non-sleeping. You can't be having a headache and be sleeping well. Mm. Okay, so it, it, something needs to be done about You can also call me and then we'll walk you, you through. Okay, how about today. someone having constant migraine? Migraine, it's, it's, um, it's, it's very easy to deal with. Okay. Many times, it's something that triggers it. Okay. Food, actually. Mm. There's mm. a type of food or the other that triggers it. By the time you study yourself and remove those things, okay? And then sometimes um, it's, a mo it's a hormonal. Okay. Hormonal. High estrogens uh, trigger it. You also control, uh, balance out the hormones, and then the person will do it. There, there are herbs and supplements that can help the person to do this. Okay. Yes. Please kindly send the names of those tea to sleep. The tea you mentioned. Chamomile, uh, lavender, um, valerian root, St. Mm. John's wort. Okay. Uh, all these are herbs that can help you sleep. Lemon balm. Mm, the lemon supplements balm. that can help you sleep are magnesium. Magnesium. Fantastic. Mm. Every family should have a container of magnesium at home. Okay. And it's not that expensive. Uh, it's not expensive and it's not addictive. You just take one, maybe 300 milligrams or 400 milligrams. You just sleep like a baby. In fact, they have to wake you up in the middle of the night. Not and when you it, have an assignment and you use it. most persons mm. who don't sleep well, they are low on magnesium. Okay. As you are supplementing it, you'll be able to sleep well. Also, melatonin. We talked about melatonin yeah. before. Mm. And then 5-HTP, um, especially if there's depression inside it. Okay. All right. Hello, Favor from Delta State. Hello? Hello, Favor. Hello. I'm with you. Okay. Thank God for this. Can you please speak up so that we can hear you loud and clear? Yes. Okay, go ahead with your question. Thank you. So, sometime last year, in the almost like 12 to 1, I wanted to have a sleep. And when I lie down, I discovered that my head was very cold, very sweet, and I slept very well. But ever since then, you know, I can't get such thing again. As in, I feel headache most often. But I still want to experience that same when I just slept and the head was very cool. And, you know, I slept very well that very day. But since then, I was still waiting to experience that again, but I couldn't. But I do you know sleep why. well? And I don't know if it's really normal for me to experience such things. Do you the head sleep was well? Like very cool, very cool. And I slept very well that day. Now, doctor is asking but, a question. Do you sleep well normally? Do you sleep well? Hello? Hello, can you hear us, Favor? Yes. Do you sleep well normally? Yeah, I'm not hearing it too well. You say what? I said, doctor said, do you sleep well? I On a normal day, do you sleep I well? Sleep, that very day, I slept very well. The head was very cold. And I slept very well. But since then, I was waiting to experience such uh, way again, but I couldn't. I don't know why. Okay, thank you so much, Pablo. So maybe she doesn't sleep well. At mm. night. That's what she's trying to say. Okay. But... Um, it, to answer your question, what to do is, I believe you've been watching the program since it started. Mm. Try and do the things that we have said. These 
herbs and supplements we talked about, write them down, get them. You can get them in any pharmacy. Okay. okay, and then you'll be able to sleep. Okay, up. I just want to say this, that uh, Favor, thank you so much for calling. That's our last um, caller for today. We'd like to take just some few texts before we wrap off uh, from today's program. Thank you so much and God bless you. What about sleep that comes after eating, especially in the morning? You, you eat too heavy. Mm. You eat too heavy. And um, so what to, you can't give you, you can't start sleeping in the morning. You have to go to work. So stand up, take a, a walk around, and then you feel light again, and then you'll be able to do your work. Okay. Hello, sir. Please, anytime I take light food at night, I find it difficult to sleep because I I always feel hungry. What should I do? Maybe the light food is too light. Okay. Increase on it a bit. It's not about starving yourself, but uh, it's about not overeating. Okay. Yes. Hello, doctor. It's very hard for our mom. She had hotness of the food up from till new. And um, sitting long for her, she will have hotness of the foot. Mm. She will have to walk for a long while on a daily basis before it can release her. Mm. And uh, when the weather is cold or hot, it's also a problem for her. That's, what that, can that, we that, do? That, that's an example of restless leg syndrome. Mm. So uh, the, uh, Mama needs something. Uh, she, she, she needs carminatives. Okay. Something like magnesium, something like 5-HTP. Mm. Okay, and then all these herbs we talked about. And then she needs to change her lifestyle, do more exercises, and then she will be able to do well. We also need to investigate and rule out whether diabetes or hypertension and all that. Okay, the woman that sent a message that a 10-year-old boy doesn't sleep during the day, she also mm. sent a message saying a 10-year-old boy's uh, penis, his private part is as small as that of a 2-year-old baby. What can be let, the cause? Let, let, let them see it in the hospital. Take it to... A pediatrician, take him, sorry, to a pediatrician let's uh, and, and let them see. But I do not suppose it there's, will, anything it, there's wrong. any problem. Okay. Hello, yeah. doctor. I've not been able to sleep since I fell sick since 2020. I've been never sleep for good one month or one hour. Sometimes sleep will come and not too long. Sometimes I'll be sitting and sleeping or okay. getting to bed no more. What mm. is the cause, doctor? I need to sleep. Part of this person this has is... been to the hospital, but mm. nothing was said wrong please, about her. Uh, please help, doctor. Uh, let this person reach me, and okay. then we'll walk him through. Please, let's have Dr. Like Chris Williams' number display right here on your yes. TV, on, um, the TV screen so that viewers can get to call or send an SMS in case. Uh, let's have it before we wrap up for today's uh, program. So thank you, doctor. Please, how can I stop a child that sleeps and when he's cracking at it while sleeping? Benita from Abuja. I'm really enjoying this program. God bless you. And the presenter. <laughs> That's just a habit. Thank too. you. <laughs> I do not know what to say to you. It's just a habit. Some people do it. And then after some time, she can actually outgrow it. Mm. Those are people are sleeping and they are doing their teeth. Some you know. why they are not even sleeping mm. when they are under stress. Uh, I know someone you start. Yes. Uh, you mm. know, I know that this person mm. is under stress. Okay. Maybe you just tap her. She wakes up and then I do, um, it may help. But she will outgrow it. Okay. Hello, doctor. Uh, someone that snores a lot reduces. How can that person reduce such habits? Can't sleep from a dose. Number states. one, if you're overweight, you need to reduce your weight. Hmm. You need to reduce your weight. If it is sinusitis, you need to do something about it. Okay? And then uh, be conscious also if you sleep on your side, you will snore less. Okay. It's when you sleep like this, the tongue covers the airways, and then the person begins to snore. Okay, no. so don't sleep like this. Sleep on your side, either the left or the right. Ah, I, I wanted to say, please, if you watch this episode, just send me a WhatsApp message saying I watched the episode on insomnia so I can add you to my broadcast list. Thank yes, you. Yes, I watched the episode of okay. inability to sleep. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank You've you. You've given us a lot, and I pray that the good Lord mm. will continue to increase you more Amen. in wisdom in Jesus' Amen. name. Thank, thank, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. For to thing. everyone who has been part of Healthy Living, I want to say a big thank you to you. Uh, for the network for today, oh, we are so sorry. You know, sometimes the network seems uh, busy or sometimes might feel funny at times especially when it's rained i don't know about your location but here it's really raining so want to thank god almighty you can get to watch several episodes of healthy living on our youtube page uh get to click on the button and dope television is right there at your doorstep if god has laid it in your heart to sponsor any of our program please feel free Feel free to sponsor it. And if you have a product or you wish to be on Dove Television, you wish to come on this platform, 
feel free to give us a call. We'll be right there at your doorstep. We'll be right there to welcome you. Yes, to allow you to come into this family of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you to the camera crew, to my director, to the CCU, to the IT, to the NCL, to everyone who has put in efforts just to make this program come alive. We appreciate it. And God Almighty will continue to bless you all in Jesus' name. We'll wrap it up with a prayer from Dr. Chris Williams. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you for the episode. Thank you for how you helped us. We we'll pray and join our faith with your people that healing is ours in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Thank Jesus you, name. Lord. Amen. Please stay tuned to Dove Television for more exciting programs coming your way. I remain Oluwa Femi Odunton. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.